for another video. This is the beginning of season six of Super Mom's Journey. Yay! So, I have something very serious to talk about. And um, this is something major that has happened in our house that I um, wasn't expecting. And at least wasn't expecting just yet. So, as you know, um, when AJ was born, um, he slept in our room um, until he was four months. So, he slept like, um, we have like this big round pillow, big donut pillow. And um, it's not really a donut though because the hole is still something there. But anyway, so he slept in that like maybe like the first week. That we brought him home and then we go, went on ahead and had him sleep in the bassinet and he slept in the bassinet until he was about four months and when he turned four months you know he had gotten to the point where he was you know rolling over and he was holding his head up and he was just getting really big for that bassinet so it was time to move him to the crib and so we, at four months, we moved him to the crib, to the room across from our room. Well, he's been in there um, since, so that has been his room. So when Amari came along, same thing with Amari. He was in the donut for like the first week or two, and then we moved him to the bassinet. And then when he was four months, we moved him to that same room. So then we got AJ um, a toddler bed, which is a crib, and we just took the rail off so that way he can just sleep in it as a toddler bed. And then the crib became Amari's. So that had been the arrangement. Now the both of them are, you know, big enough to like, you know, play with each other and toy with the toys and everything. So now there is the issue of um, them playing together. So really the issue is them, is their sleeping arrangement, okay? The arrangement is fine. It's just that now that Omari knows how to play and interact and play with toys, he knows how to climb out of the crib. Um, he knows how to climb on everything. Um it has gotten harder to put them, not to put them to bed at night. <clears throat> Maybe it's so, because I put them to bed at night. But Amari still thinks that it's playtime. And he wants to get up and play. And so at night now, instead of, you know, putting them to bed, saying goodnight, close the door, and they're going to sleep. No, Amari gets out of the bed and he's pulling toys out, he's bothering AJ, because now he can climb into AJ's bed, and all of that. So, it got to the point where it was getting getting so frustrating to me, and I'm like, you know what? I'm getting sick and tired of this. So, it's time to do something, and what I did was I went on ahead and moved AJ upstairs. So, I knew I was going to move him upstairs, but I was going to do that when he turned four for his birthday and then reveal to him his new room. He has a big boy room now. Ta-da, happy birthday. But, yeah, this has become that big of an issue that I needed to go ahead and move him upstairs. So, I moved him upstairs and he's been sleeping upstairs and my thing was, I didn't know whether or not he was going to, like, be okay with it. Like, feel comfortable with it. Like, was he going to be scared to be up there on a whole nother level of the house all by himself? And, you know, gosh, like, how is he going to do? Is he going to be okay? Let me tell y'all. I think I just set it up so wonderfully that AJ loved it because <clears throat> I made it sound so good. You know, made it sound so cool and fun, which it was. 
So, uh, you know, I took him upstairs. I said, AJ, tonight you're going to sleep upstairs. You're going to come sleep up here in this big boy bed because there's a full-size bed in that um, room upstairs because there's two rooms upstairs. So he's in the smaller one upstairs, but it's bigger than the room that he was in. And so I'm like, okay, so you're going to sleep up here so that way Amari doesn't bother you because honestly, y'all, Amari was getting on AJ's nerves. Like, AJ was getting tired of Amari, like, bothering him while he's trying to go to sleep. And AJ is not really the type that embraces, you know, going to sleep. He's like me. You know, I want to stay up. But he's actually trying to go to sleep, and Amari is just, like, wanting to play, play, play. And he's like, Amari, get in the bed. Because um, AJ was actually fussing at Amari, and, you know, I would hear him pop Amari a few times. He's like, get in the bed. <laughs> and I'm like what <laughs> so I, I had him um go upstairs and i'm like you get to sleep up here in this big boy bed and i got the bathroom all set up because it's the bathroom up there i got the bathroom all set up and you know <clears throat> just right there on the spot like okay so this is what you're gonna do when you need to go potty you're gonna get down you're gonna do this you're gonna go here to the bathroom you're gonna work this this way and yeah so I got everything set up. I put a chair in there so he's able to get up and reach the sink to wash his hands. And he is loving it. Like, I almost feel like, well, gosh, he just doesn't need me anymore. <laughs> like, I, like, the first night, I even, like, sat up there, like, the first few minutes of him sleeping, maybe, like, 30 minutes to an hour of him, you know, just laying in the bed because, you know, just wanted to make sure he was okay. I probably didn't even have to do that because he's just like, I'm good. So, yeah. So, AJ now, so he went from four months to move into the room across the hall from us. So, from four months to now, um, he is, uh, let's see, he's like a month away from turning four so from four months to a month away from being four well no 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 from four months to whatever age he was when Amari turned four months he had his own room so from since Amari was four months to now he's been sharing the room with Amari so now he has his own room again and yeah, so he's pretty. he pretty much, like, has the whole upstairs now. So it's his room, the loft area, and the bathroom. And in the other room, he goes to that room to look out the window whenever he wants to see the neighbor's car across the street. They have a Mustang. So he likes to see the Mustang. So he'll go to that room so he can see on that side to see the car or to see one of us leave out because um, he can see us from that side. Um, there's also a TV in that room, the big room upstairs, but he doesn't go to that very much, um, cause he watches everything he wants to watch down here. Um, but yeah, so he pretty much like the upstairs is his. So now I am in the process of teaching him how to clean, um, the bathroom, how to keep it clean. Um, when he goes potty washes his hands, brushes his teeth, um, all of that. So teaching him how to keep everything tidy. And I have to say, um, it's kind of a struggle right now, but he's getting better at it. Um, but just good, because he's still doing better than I would actually expect out of a four-year-old. So thumbs up, AJ. <laughs> So yeah, y'all, my baby moved out of his first room and now has his own room now. And Amari, of course, has his own room too, but he's going to be sharing again when Amir moves into that room. And that would be a whole other thing because Amari likes to play so much and get into everything. There is the concern of, okay, how's he going to do with the baby in here with him? Because I would hate for the baby to be in the crib and Amari decides he wants to just start throwing toys in the crib. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, so that's another thing that we're going to have to work out. So, yeah, my baby is growing up. He's got his big boy room and he doesn't even need me. 
but it's okay though. It's okay. <laughs> All right, so welcome to season six, y'all. I will see y'all in the next video. <laughs> Bye.